Hello, my name's Andy. I'm the Ginger Gamer. Welcome to episode 27, which is also part two of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. So you join me as I'm waking up on the first morning <sighs> in Hogwarts. And yeah, I get lost. Um, this will be a recurrent theme through my playthrough. Uh, I get lost all the time, miss obvious clues to things and generally have little idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing. But I do eventually make it and I'll try and keep um, to a minimum you having to um, observe me wandering around getting lost. Anyway, eventually I make it to the common room. What you also see me doing quite a lot is rebellion. rebellion. One, because um, I read that it's a useful thing to do and you really should spam Revelio quite a lot. But also because I didn't know what I was doing. Now, a lot of the other pupils are gossiping about you quite loudly enough for you to hear, but never mind. Anyway, this first bit is just really me meeting some pupils and generally seeing who is around and being far more sociable than I would be in real life. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you, I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. As I said in, in part one, I'll tend to let um, most of the expositional story stuff go without <laughs> Why comment. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Oxfire. I've heard rumours about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you... Scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. I'm also going to edit a fair amount of the gameplay, like these little gaps between students. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protégé? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. 
Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. The other thing I haven't mentioned is I'm by and large um, trying to do a nice playthrough as well. Trying to avoid evilness as much as possible. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Ravelio on it and we'll see what the Ravelio. I do kind of forget to do this a fair amount in the game. I think there's a lot I probably missed out on in terms of field guide pages. Um, not using the field guide completely, but just going for all the different pages. I kind of remember halfway through really. I tend to just use the field guide in a very kind of um, What's the word? Just to get the job done kind of way, rather than really to explore all the Hogwarts and the game's got to offer, really. Which is probably a mistake, but as I said in part one, I'm not trying to do 100% um, completion of the game. And I'm not doing it on its hardest difficulty by any means either. I'm, I'm just wanting to enjoy it. And through these videos, you know, share that with you and show you the story and the environment, etc. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. I'll speed this up here because I completely <laughs> lose track of what I'm meant to be doing. As I've said quite a few times in quite a short pe um, period of time, I do that quite a lot. To begin with, I don't really use the flu flames that much because I'm trying to learn my way around um, the school. But And here we are, 
quite the time. In the end, I do give up and use them more and more. These lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. The graphics are amazing, I have to say. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station. So I mean, I don't have the best computer in the world. I have a reasonable PC. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defence Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? They do really kind of stick you in the middle here, which is quite interesting and it's she ambiguously guard. not I really good or bad. About our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. 
You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. A small moment of me slightly confused about what I'm meant to do, but I work it out. Again, I'm just admiring the graphics here, really. I think it's absolutely beautiful. As I was saying, I haven't got the best computer. I haven't got an awful computer, but I haven't got the best computer in the world. But... I think this game runs pretty good. I think there's a few, couple of moments of slow down, but by and large, I think it runs really well. blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. wise age matters very little today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than i care to remember levioso levioso a levitation charm levioso a surprised opponent is a weak opponent care to defend yourself master poet no one thing i've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Yeah, again, I'm not unreasonably confused. I don't know what I was trying to do here. Let me so, now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts wobble. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, Basic Cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be Levioso. good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. 
Didn't really get anything, did I? I look quite smug there. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Certainly on the level I'm playing on, um, combat's pretty easy until you get to one or two notable um, exceptions, especially right at the end. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organisation. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. It's probably going to be one of the, the more, well, it definitely is one of the more complicated relationships you have with another character in the game. And it's not always clear what the right or wrong thing to do is. I've kind of jumped forward a little bit here to the next lesson. Here, behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Mmm. Mm. 
Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Lessons in the game are perhaps a little a little shortened and you just kind of get the bits you really need, really. Which is probably good because it would be quite boring. There's quite a lot of exposition and um, parts of the game where you don't really do anything. So I've always found probably that just fun as well. goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so, why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Accio, the trick is to pull the sphere. Very good. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite easy. <laughs> Although I messed Excellent. that one up. Good no, it's, it's, it's quite easy. to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. That was before I worked out you could change your own position to get a better angle. Interesting, shall we? <laughs> A 
I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. It's not Focus really the most exciting game, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's a little slow. Title. And you don't, well, I found anyway when I played through the game, you, you don't really use Akio with this degree of um, sensitivity or control elsewhere in the game. It's usually quite, it's actually quite a blunt tool for the rest of the game, apart from when you're playing this. You are not making this easy for me, are you? This does, does become um, a recurrent quest where you play more difficult players. Definitely doesn't make up for the lack of Quidditch in the game, that's for sure. Absolutely no doubt I was going to win that. <laughs> Not just drag it off the end again. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using a it word for if you would. Size, Sebastian. You know it won't. You work. wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Again, I'm just admiring the view here. I'm off to do um, the dueling side quests, which is probably one of the more enjoyable side quests in the game, to be honest. It's certainly more enjoyable than um, rolling balls <laughs> down a wooden there. platform.
Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for Crossed Ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Wands, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. I do really enjoy this this mindless violence against other students. It is a lot of fun. It's the same spells that was destroying statues <laughs> in the um, kind of tutorial level of the game. But it's good fun. That's kind of part of the, the Potter world, really, isn't it? That there's huge amounts of unnecessary risks on students. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. I love that this young kid's the entrepreneur and the organiser of all this duelling. Yeah, that's a nice touch. I also quite like that um, students aren't so um, just confined to their houses, as it were. By that, I mean in terms of I mean, in terms of friendships and things like that. It seems a lot more mixed. Yeah, and again here, I'm, I'm avoiding using the flues just because really I'm trying to learn the layout of the school. I don't really succeed, I'll be honest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you I could I think you can guess which room that is. We come to that in a future episode. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near, what was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. About trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. 
Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I don't think I ever actually um, get a butterbeer in the game. I've had one in real oh, life when are. I went to... Um, you have a new spell to teach um, me, Professor. Harry Indeed Potter I World. And I think that's what it's called in England. I can't remember. The but, and it was really Rebero. nice. But I've got a really Fixes sweet tooth, right so that probably Makes explains why. Object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. I absolutely miss... <laughs> where that is it's obvious and I completely miss where it is and then spend ages looking for it this is the right area I wonder where the flying page is yeah, it was right above your head yeah, eventually get it Let me and then cast the wrong spell This is definitely not a how-to playthrough. Got it. And that's me lost again. Eventually I get there. Rebellion. I can do a much better job with the second one, although I couldn't really do worse. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvellous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very good. 
If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that. I just think the only thing with, the with spells like Reparo is you don't kind of get better at them, as it were, Perhaps in that you can mend really large things straight down. away. Which, Works like a charm, I don't know, I think maybe you should, yeah, to begin with you shouldn't be able to. You should have to start with mending a cup and then being able to mend a wall, if that makes sense. But other than that, I think it's it's a really good system. Hello, looking for me? And again, a bit of a fast forward. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. This this journey to Hogsmeade shows off oh, I cannot tell you how a nice number of really good things about the game. One, the visuals. There's rooms. the Quidditch Stadium. And just the countryside. I believe you. But also another well, another really, really, really good thing, and that's following um, NPCs in the game, or them following you, is that they go at your speed. So if you run, they run. If you walk, they walk. If you sprint, they sprint. Or if you stop, they stop. But, um, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's It avoids a lot of the annoyances in other games of... NPCs not going fast much. enough, it or you getting, getting you losing them, or them lo losing now. you. So, yeah, it's it's really good. Oh wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. And this is another example of, of Natty being a bit of a tutorial um, tool for you, basically, um, in just pointing out, you know, there's things you can collect out there in the nature that are going to be really useful that I kind of ignore for a lot of the game until I really have to. Um, occasionally, I'll just pick things Look, up as I find them. From the Forbidden but... Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumours that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. The hippogriff's models are excellent in the game. Have already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. 
What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. He's not just being randomly oh, intoxicated hey, there. There is guess. a um I think he had too much fun in the There's a, a side quest to be I done say later. That I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And into Hogsmeade we go, which is just a beautifully constructed um, map. It's really are. amazing. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Right, so I have to go to various shops in terms of the quest to pick my stuff up. So I do kind of just um, flip between each one and I'll, I'll edit out um, the travelling in between a little bit just to speed it up. Because as, as you may know by now, I get lost a lot. But predictably, I'm off to Ollivander's first. Merlin, blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. The voice actor's doing a really good John Hurt uh, impression. I must hello, say. Sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Predictably, although he's one of the finest well, one makers, Swish. he doesn't get the right one first time. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps, yes. 
rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Now, not know much about um, the wider law uh, around the Harry Potter world. I didn't really know what to choose here, so I'm really making this up as I go along somewhat. I don't know that it really what makes that much think? of a difference. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Ah. <laughs> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I buy these things and, and um, I even make these things later in a certain room, but I don't really use them properly right until the very end, um, which you can look forward to seeing me realize the importance interested. of them. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory.
Now off to Jay Pippins. Welcome to Jay Pippins Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Again, this whole first visit to Hogsmeade is a, is a sort of second tutorial level, really. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Just uh, hold you by the hand, really, and um, show you everything you need to be able to do. Well, hello there. I completely miss where the shop owner is. <laughs> As usual, oblivious to my surroundings. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting on Warts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Ah! Oh, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Amazing inability to dodge them. So um, I learned my lesson relatively quickly, I think. It's a bit like a certain um, um, 
enemy in Gears of War, but um, a lot easier. The other good thing in this game, when you're battling with um, somebody on your side, as it were, um, they're not really useless <laughs> and they don't die easily, which is um, really useful compared to some games where you're teaming up with somebody and you do everything right and they end up getting killed, apart from not doing everything right there. You may have noticed I'm missing some of the left button, right button um, indicators. Again, that's um, really me not paying attention. take on a fully grown troll by yourselves i suppose so it's all a bit of a blur to be honest merlin's beard are you all right we are and we were glad to help i'd say help is a bit of an understatement nerve like that the makings of an aura if you ask me if you are unharmed perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were of course officer singer officer singer and thank you, again. I like how they kind of missed the fact that I used what was obviously ancient Repair. and it's really powerful magic to kind of obliterate the troll, not just beat it. That's probably a good thing. See what I mean here by repairer really is that, you know, I'm mending really complicated and large objects sort of half an hour after I've learned the spell. But, you know, it works for the game. Repair One less thing for us to sing to worry about. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. 
Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. I Take did your change time. my um, clothes a fair amount, actually. Um, usually to increase offensive power, really. Um, the one thing I don't do is wear headgear until a certain part of the game, which we'll get to in quite a few episodes time. And a lot of that is because my name's a ginger gamer and um, for obvious reasons, and my character has ginger hair. And if for only thumbnail purposes, not really, I'm joking, but um, I, I tend to keep my head uncovered really, which I know is a bit silly, but um, I, I chose to do that anyway. Some of the clothes are really cool and it was really nice to kind of upgrade and some were more powerful but I didn't like so much but I, I took them on board as time went on anyway. This shop is also a good place to um, sell any clothes you pick up along the way but don't choose to keep. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Ominous cutscene time. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Serona's going to be another key character, aside from just being a shopkeeper of some sorts. As is the goblin there, too. No spoilers. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not get right. Get beer. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. I don't think I actually get to drink it. What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the calibre of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. 
No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Right then. That's the end of the first day at Hogwarts and the start of day two. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. Think about subscribing if you're not already. Um, and I think there's going to be about 20 episodes to this playthrough. Hopefully, anyway. Um, um, just, just to be, you know, really transparent. I have already finished playing the game i'm doing this slightly in retrospect and if you didn't see part one um these are an edited playthrough it's not as live and but i am endeavoring to let all the exposition and all the interactions that's given you useful information um just play out without me waffling too much on top of it but anyway as i say hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time <laughs>